pickleball. Go the farthest. Starting off with the smallest bat, a pickleball racket. It's not really a bat, but we're testing all of these. Now let's measure. The pickleball racket got about 26 of my strides. Now, let's see the racquetball racket. This is the next item, the racquetball racket. Let's see how far I can hit it. There we go. That's over the fence. Let's measure it though. That was 34 strides. Definitely beating the pickleball racket. Now we got the small gray wiffle ball bat. Let's go. I just learned that hitting this one handed is a lot better, so I'm gonna do that. The tiny gray wiffle ball bat got 33 strides. Next up is the small blue foam bat. That's definitely the best hit I'm getting. 33 strides. Next bat, we got the Rawlings Rafter Baseball Bat. Not over the fence. So we're counting that as 33 strides for the metal Rawlings Rafter Bat. Next up, we got the Red Wiffle Ball Bat. That looks very close to the racket. Let's go see. Red bat got a total of 37 strides beating the racket. Now on to the next bat. The next bat is the junk ball bat. Green and orange. Let's get it. Junk ball bat. 38 strides. That's a new leader. Now on to the last bat. Next and final bat, we have the inflatable power bat. Let's see if it can get in the lead. That is definitely the best hit I'm gonna get, which includes our standings. Coming in last place at no surprise at all, the inflatable power bat. In seventh place, we have the pickleball racket. In sixth place, we have a three-way tie. All right, we know how to settle this. It's the next day and I decided there's no tiebreakers. Who likes tiebreakers? So I decided that none of these hit the wiffle ball over the fence. So the first one that hits the wiffle ball over the fence gets fourth place and then we'll do we'll keep going with the other two bats and then that will be fifth place and then the last bat will be sixth place cue the time lapse All right, let's continue. Oh yeah, that's over. Oh yeah. All right, so the blue foam bat hit a home run. And that means that the blue foam bat is now in fourth place. The gray bat right now is in fifth place. But remember how I said the shortest bat goes first and the biggest bat goes last? I'm going to start off from shortest to biggest because that's how I did it yesterday. So that means the metal bat still has one chance. All right, here we go. Here's the tiebreaker. Hopefully it don't swing Oh, that was a good hit. Not over. 
over the fence. Blue bat gets fourth place, gray bat gets fifth place, and the metal bat gets sixth place. Now back to the standings. All right, since we just did that, we know that in sixth place, we have the metal bat. In fifth place, we have the small gray bat. And in fourth place, we have the small blue foam bat. These last three all hit it over the fence, coming in at third place with a total of 34 strides. We have the Racket Ball Racket. Coming in in second place, getting a total of 37 strides, we have the Red Wiffle Ball Bat. And coming in first place, no surprise at all, the heaviest, the heftiest we have. Coming in in first place, the Junk Ball Bat at 38 strides. So what does this mean? Is the Junk Ball Bat just the best bat? And is the Inflatable Power Bat just the worst bat? No, this is not the end. This is only the start. This means that the Junk Ball Green and Orange Bat has eight points starting off the season. While the Power Bat and Flittable Bat start with zero. And it's not just gonna be the, these bats. We're gonna add different bats. Maybe we'll add the official Wiffle Ball Bat or a Blitz Ball Bat. And we'll do different challenges like hitting different balls other than Wiffle Balls or hitting it left-handed, hitting it one-handed. It could be all sorts of stuff. But this series is a best out of 10 to see which bat is the best bat of all time. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you know when the next bat season game is next. See you there. For how we said the shortest bat goes, well, what do you think you're doing?